samples will appear here on the counter on a large silver tray. Please take the sample closest to you physically, not emotionally. I know <laughs> the samples in the back might be calling your name, but I promise you they all taste exactly the same. I have plenty of time during the film to come down and lick each and every one myself, so I can personally guarantee it. You're welcome. For those of you who look concerned, don't worry, I did not really do that. But please, take from the front of the tray, work your way back. We just want to avoid anyone reaching over and accidentally getting their elbows or sleeves into other people's samples. We just finished the Ben and Jerry's factory tour, which was really cool and surprisingly and small. Tasty. tasty. Um, but now we're standing in the graveyard of ice creams. These are the ones that have been retired and they're it's resting in peace. And they got actual gravestones. You can see Wavy Gravy, who doesn't remember that. Actual gravestones for all of these flavors. And some of them have actually been resurrected. And put to rest again. Yeah. So, if you look around, there's a lot that you remember, a lot that we loved. But it's getting dark and it's October, we're afraid it might be haunted. Yeah, so we should probably get out. Let's get out. We'll find some ice cream. <laughs> okay. <laughs> filing cabinet. In theory, there are other tall filing cabinets around the world. I don't know if this is actually the tallest. It was installed by a fella that was uh, trying to bring attention to bureaucracy over a highway that was supposed to go into Burlington starting around 1965. What did you guys think of the world's tallest filing cabinet? There's something living in it. There was. What do you think it was? Squirrel. A huge fat rat. Could have been. That eats all the papers that are still left inside of her. Could be. They made a nest out of all the papers. No, they eat it and then that's how it gets fat. Duh. What happened? <laughs> What's wrong with mom? <laughs> 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 what happened? <laughs> Would you, did you do something? <laughs> <laughs> something we need to know about? <laughs> Is what? This one's for you. Magic Hat number nine. If you've never had a Magic Hat number nine, I truly advise you getting it. We discovered this up in Burlington, and that's where we are now. So definitely got to come to the Magic Hat Brewery and take a tour, which is what we're about ready to do. So try yourself a Magic Hat number nine. Entire tour. 
It is very visually stimulating. We like a lot of color here, a lot of artwork. Um, a lot of the posters are from, you know, all different years, all different events. A lot of fun stuff to look at. <laughs> now you guys are distributed around the country now, right? We are in 42 states at the moment. Okay. I can't tell you exactly which states we're not. I know Alaska and Hawaii are two of them, um, but we do distribute pretty far, um, Midwest and something like that. Yeah. I learned, I discovered Magic Hat number nine long, many years ago. Yes. When we came up to Burlington from Connecticut and oh, we have it in Colorado we're now. We're pretty big in Connecticut too. A lot of, yeah, a lot yeah. of grind out there. I don't even think at that time we had it in Connecticut, but it was a while back. So it was a little like micro brew, I mean, micro mm. micro brew at that time. Mm -hmm. But yeah, and then uh, I, we're staying down the road in an in a RV. We're touring the country. Oh, and I just happened to see on Google Maps, I'm like, no way, we're like two and a half miles from Magic Hat. Oh, so you didn't even realize that we were in Vermont? Or? Right. Well, I knew you were like around Burlington. I didn't right. think much about it. And then I happened yeah. to see it on Google Maps. I didn't realize we we're sitting on the same road. <laughs> that as, is so cool. Yeah. The, the, and that's uh, also quest. awesome that you're touring the country. So we started in 1994 um, by two guys, uh, Bob Johnson and Alan Newman. They were college buddies. Um, had been friends for years. Alan was a serial entrepreneur. He had started many businesses before. I don't know if you've ever heard of Seventh Generation. Oh, yes. I've I, I, I given them many dollars. <laughs> yeah, so he, Alan was actually a co-founder of that business. Oh, that's so cool. So he had a few other businesses prior to Magic Hat. That was kind of just his thing. He liked trying different things out, basically. So he went from cleaning products to a brewery. Um, but his first beer was Bob's Red Ale, Irish Red Ale, and they were giving that out for free. Um, so, you know, giving beer out for free on the streets of Burlington, people are going to start talking about it. That's you how know? the crack starts. Exactly. They yeah. were not the greatest business plan, but, you know, that's how they got <laughs> their name out there, really. Um, so that was their first beer, and their second beer was actually Blind Fee, which we have on tap right now. Um, that's an IPA. This is actually Bob's old coveralls. Like, it, we found them in the brewery, <laughs> and it has his name on the back. Aww. So, you know, anything that we found over the years kind of just gets put in here for our little art gallery, art space. It's beer brewing garb. Is there yep. Oh, I have that tap in right there. Who is retired? <laughs> you have one of the tap? Yeah, oh, the awesome. copper tap handle. Nice. Oh, yep, so this is our coffin of beers. Um, as I said, we had over 200 beers, so this is definitely not all of them, um, but just a few of them, you know, some of the old labels that we have going on. Um, the first one here in the corner, you will see Bob's Ale, that was the first ever label, first ever beer, created by this company in 1994. Um, you will also see a few of these, uh, Blind Fade Number 9 Lucky Cat that we actually have on tap right now. That's because we do bring beers back, um, so, you know, they're not dead forever. Dead for now, not dead forever. Wow. Yep, exactly. Um, and that can be under the, the discretion of the brewer. Um, you know, they just miss a recipe. They kind of miss a beer. A little nostalgia, yeah. Yeah, they're just like, oh, we should make this again. And then we'll see it on our taps. So it's pretty interesting. Um, you know, it could be 10 years before we see it, you know, one beer. And then it'll still be able to come back. It's going to be fun, no? Yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun because you never know what you're going to get. All right, so before we boogie out of Vermont, Harley and I wanted to get some mountain bike riding in because we hadn't ridden the bikes since like April or May back in Colorado because we were spending so much time getting the house ready and uh, getting the RV ready to come out on this trip. So we finally broke the bikes out today outside of Burlington. We're at Heinsberg Town Forest. There's some trails here just about 28 minutes east of Burlington. And we thought we'd come out here and check out some Vermont riding before we got going. So Harley, what did you think about the, the New England or Northeast trails compared to Colorado? They're so much fun. Slippery though. Dang it, like, the le it's winter in the fall right now, so it's super slippery. Like, the leaves just coated the trail and there's roots everywhere. Roots, lots of roots, yeah. And it's humid, so they're all wet but the, the forest it smells amazing it's yeah. uh yeah it's good to be back here for sure so we'll have to do a tick check when we get home <laughs> or maybe right now because we're not used to chick ticks in colorado we've already found a few on the dogs uh yeah. but it was a good ride and uh, we'll show you some of the video that took place when we did
Oh, that hurt. Not bad, but... On your arms? What? On your arms? Well, there's a rock up there. I didn't, I didn't, we didn't come down that far, I didn't know. We didn't come down that far, so I didn't know what was on the other side. So I just sent it. Yeah. It, you know that big smooth rock? Yeah. No, it was like really grounded. Like, to the left side? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I just launched off of that. But I have no suspension, so it was just such a hard day. <laughs> oh, my calves did not like coming down through there. What'd you get? A maple creamy. What's a creamy? A soft serve ice cream with more fat. <laughs> <laughs> it's fat or DQ? Uh, no, way better. Way better. I can't stand that one. Yeah. I think it's like the best thing uh, in the world. Not fits, but the it's pretty vanilla good. Vanilla dipped chocolate cone at DQ. So, the... so you got what flavor? Maple. Maple's pretty good. And why? Mm -hmm. why did you get maple? Vermont. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. I got maple too. Mm -hmm. Me too. And it is pretty good. <laughs> I got chocolate. I don't like maple, but I also don't like chocolate. We didn't do it. <laughs> Did not do that. Alright. How's yours, Harley? Good. It's even good. better because mine was perfectly straight. Yeah, Harley got Ours the was one. crooked. Mine was really crooked. Ours are like the leaning tower of creamies. And Sedona, is it better than DQ? What? I don't like chocolate ice cream. Why did you get chocolate ice cream? <laughs> I don't like maple ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, they had maple and chocolate and the maple chocolate twist, huh? Yeah. No vanilla. Uh -huh. Strange. Anyway, that's a creamy. It was we a small place. had no idea what a creamy was until we came to Vermont, and apparently you have to get a creamy. So there's a creamy. Hey guys, please subscribe, turn on post notifications so you can be among one of the first people to watch our new videos. Give this video a thumbs up and comment down below where in the world you
you'd most like to visit? 